Mana Kimia 2, Fall of Alchemy, Mana Kimia 2 Okata Zuyuan to Lian Jin Shushi Tachi Mana Kimia 2 Tilda Okata Gakuen to Renkenjitsushi Tachi Tilda Lit. Mana Kimia 2 Tilda The Fallen Academy and the Alchemists Tilda is a role playing video game developed by Japanese developer Gust Co. Limited for the PlayStation 2. A portable plus version for PlayStation Portable was released on 1 October 2009 Japan only. The game is the direct sequel to Mana Kimia, Alchemists of Al Revis, as well as the tenth installment to the Atelier series. <laughs> Gameplay Mana Kimia 2 is classified as a console role-playing video game and is a direct sequel to Mana Kimia, Alchemists of Al Revis also created by Gust. Like its predecessor, the core of this game focuses on alchemy through which players can create items, weapons, armors and accessories to be used throughout the duration of the game. These alchemy recipes can be attained through field explorations, completing certain jobs or bought in shops. Each item has its own special properties, from elemental attributes to special skills called common skills, which are useful during battle. Like the previous installment, the quality of an item depends on its ether level which starts at 50 and can either increase or decrease according to the selected elemental attributes on the alchemy wheel. New recipes can be derived from older ones depending on the ingredient selected during item creation. In the field, players are confronted by visible monsters. Once the player bumps into a monster, one of the four PlayStation controller buttons will be displayed. If the player manages to quickly input the corresponding button, the player gets an advantage in battle allowing the characters to strike first. Unlike the first Mana Kimia, players will only have five permanent characters in their group three in the active party, two, three in reserve, the sixth being a guest character which will only participate during certain events. Guests are playable during battle but feature inaccessible equipment and status parameters. Players can call in the reserve characters for an extra attack or to defend against an incoming attack. The switched out character will have to wait a certain amount of time before being available to switch again. As more hits are inflicted upon the enemies, the battle gauge will build up. Unite mode will initiate once it maxes out. The Unite mode is akin to the Burst mode from the previous game in which damage dealt will be critical and the amount of time reduced for reserve characters to act again. In Mana Kimia 2, the Intimate Attack, known previously as Co-op Attack, can only be executed during Unite mode and Intimate attack is a combo attack achieved by switching in both characters in reserve consecutively, dealing more damage than an ordinary attack much like variable strike from Mana Kimia. Also returning from Mana Kimia is the finishing burst, a powerful single character attack which requires the player to fill up a separate gauge only available during Unite mode. Like the previous game, this game has no levels and instead depends entirely on Grow Books to increase the character's stats. A Grow Book requires the player to create items through alchemy to unlock slots containing stat boosts acquirable by distributing app ability points gained during battle. Mana Kimia 2 adds another layer to the Grow Book by requiring an Aether level of 100 the highest for an item, weapon, armor, or accessory in order to unlock the third slot for that specific creation, thus encouraging the player to plan out the synthesis before using any ingredients in alchemy. The game is presented as a series of terms at Al Revis Academy. 
Each term is made up of several weeks, typically starting and ending with an event and ultimately leading to a key battle at the conclusion. Between main story events, the player is generally required to complete two or three courses, earning grades for how well each course was completed. Once in free time, the player is free to take jobs with coal money as a reward, initiate a character story known as character quest in Mana Chemia, which reveals more about a particular character, or participate in the bazaar, which allows the sale of items the player has created and leads to the resale of those items later, bypassing the need to recreate them in the alchemy workshop. Topic. Story At the start of the game, players are given a choice between two characters, Razalux Meitzen or Raze for short or Ulrika Mulberry. The events that plays out following the choice of characters differs greatly as Raze's route deals with his past while Ulrika's route deals with the origin of mana. But in either character's playthrough, the core events will still remain the same taking alchemy classes and school events, though the jobs available may slightly differ. The game prologue describes Al Revis Academy a famous alchemy school which used to be floating, separated from the lower world where ordinary humans live. But due to the weakening power of mana which kept the school afloat, Al Revis Academy plummets down to the lower world. It soon manages to adapt to the surroundings with the help of students and teachers and resumes its activities in teaching alchemy. But due to the school's dwindling budget, they have to search for sponsors to keep the school running and Marta Skevesti was given the position of chairman of the school due to her being the spokesperson of the sponsors. She proposed to start a new class, combat class so that more students will enroll in the school to boost the school's finance. But her main goal is to remove alchemy from the school's syllabus stating that, "...it's a waste of money." A rough translation. Al Revis Academy's principal, Zeppel of the previous game, was a little too weak-willed to stop her and he seeks Flay also from the first Mana Chemia to help and appoints Flay as the classroom teacher for the new class, which Reyes and Etwood enroll in. Tony, the third recurring character from the previous game, is the homeroom teacher for the alchemy class with Ulrika, Chloe and Lily under him. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Characters. Topic: <laughs> 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 Playable characters. Topic. Rose – Razor's Workshop If the player decides to play Rose – Raze as the main character, the following characters will be the initial playable characters. The characters in Ulrika's Workshop will be rivals, but will be playable later on in the game. Razorlux Meitsen – Roseyukusu Meitsuen – Roseyukusu Meitsuen Voiced by Daisuke Ono, Japanese Yuri Lowenthal, English. Rosalux, or Razorlux as he is called in the English version, is one of the main characters the players are able to choose at the start of the game. He seems to have a sort of pent-up hatred towards Manus due to certain events in his childhood. His only existing relative is his grandfather, Eugene, who brings him to the Wielendorf mansion where he becomes a servant to the young lady of the house, Lily. Quiet and withdrawn, he usually distances himself from people and doesn't seem fond of interfering with others' problems. He has a kind heart though, and seems oblivious to Lily's obvious crush for him. Early in the game, he is given a ring of light by Riker, which he is then unable to remove after putting it on. The ring enables Rays to change his weapon, which was originally a knife, into a sword of light, capable of dealing grievous damage to mana-type enemies. 
He is also capable of changing his sword into other weapons, such as a spear for his intimate strike, Lilian Vielendorf, Riri Anu View Rendorufu Riri Anu Verendorufu. Voiced by Rina Satu, Japanese, Michelle Ann Dunphy, English. Lilian or Lily for short, is Razalux's master and the daughter of the rich and famous Wielendorf family. Having a big crush on Raze, she brings him along with her when she goes to Al Revis Academy so that she can be alone with him. She has an overactive imagination and a great liking for Puni, a type of monster common in games developed by Gust. So much so is her liking for Puni that she has the ability to sense any nearby. She also hires Yoon, another mana, to help around in her atelier. Her maid, Wim, does the actual fighting for her in the game. In her ending, it was revealed Ray's actually knew about her crush all along but pretends to be oblivious out of amusement. Wim, Uimu Wimu. Voiced by Mike Dawaki, Japanese, Karen Strassman, English. Lily's personal maid, whom she brought along to Al Revis Academy. She sometimes speaks too bluntly about her master and gets punished as in knuckles to the head sort of punishment by Lily. Even though Lily usually pushes her around, she still has a great fondness for Lily and tries to please her, often causing unwanted results. Wim is a water mana and thus uses water and ice-based skills in battle. Wim's true form appears to be a mermaid, with a similar appearance to that of the mana series Undine, Etward Disla, Etawarudo Deshura Etawarudo Deshura. Voiced by, Rika Ugaki Japanese, Melissa Fan English A cheerful, energetic and bubbly girl who is in the same class as Reyes. She and her younger brother, Enna, used to be Lily's playmates when they were younger. She often does things without much thought, dragging Rays along most of the time. Et also has an unhealthy attachment to her younger brother and is often doing things which she thinks is helping Enna out but causes more trouble for him instead. She is often seen as forgetful often forgets the place where she is supposed to go for her assignments and fun-loving one of the person who supports the Pro Academy Festival faction as well as liking battles becomes enthusiastic when battles are mentioned. In her ending she visit Rays, revealing her affections for him. In battle, she fights with a pair of chakram that she can either strike with at close range or toss from long range. She also can manipulate its form into a bow and arrow for one of her moves, Yun, Yun, Yun. Voiced by Naoki Yanagi, Japanese, Troy Baker, English. Yun is a fire mana hired by Lily for a year's duration with 5 million coal. He is also the quiet type and does what his employer asks him to do, however absurd it may be. He does not have a contractor currently, as his previous owner died leaving behind a daughter for him to take care of. He occasionally picks up odd jobs whenever he is free to earn extra money. In battle, he reverts to his original mana form for his finishing strike. In this form his hair grows out and seems to be on fire, and his claws extend quite a bit as well as having a pair of horns on his forehead. He seems to be a sort of otaku in his fourth character quest, Punio, Punio, Punio. Voiced by Ui Miyazaki, Japanese, Stephanie S H E H, English. A little girl who was adopted by the Puni brothers, Taro, the eldest, Jiro, the second, and Saburo, the youngest, renamed Kichi in the English version in reference to the Puni brothers present in previous Atelier games. Because of that, she can only speak the Puni language. The Puni brothers brought her to Al Revis so she could learn the human language and adapt back into human society. Even though Punio is normally helpful and cooperative, she seems to have a stubborn streak in her sometimes due to the Puni brothers spoiling her too much. Out of the three brothers, Jiro usually carries her around and translates her words to the others. 
She looks similar to the Puni mages of the Atelier Iris games, which normally appear with Puni type enemies. In her ending, Reyes visited her family and celebrated their graduation with them. Reyes is referred to as Punio's husband by her father. Topic: <laughs> Ulrika's workshop. If the player decides to play Ulrika as the main character, the following characters will be the initial playable characters. The characters in Razor's workshop will be rivals, but will be playable later on in the game. Ulrika Mulberry, Yururika Mayuberi, Yururika Mayuberi. Voiced by Ayuko Kawasumi, Japanese, Laura Bailey, English. Renamed Ulrika Mulberry in the English version, Ulrika is one of the two main characters that players can choose at the start of the game. She has a very cheerful personality and is a little bit forgetful at times. In her childhood, she receives a mana egg from a traveling old man who tells her to take good care of it. After ten years of taking care of it, she decides to enroll in Al Revis Academy to learn alchemy and to find a way to make the egg hatch so that she would get a mana of her own. She tends to act without thinking and does not see eye to eye with Rays in their first encounter. The English version has her voiced with a typical Texas drawl giving the impression that she's a country bumpkin, but nothing in the original Japanese script implied she was a country girl nor was her manner of speech different. Unusually, Ulrika has some strange disease. Congenital puni aphasic disorder according to pepperoni that makes her unable to understand punis they will only say puni around her when it has been shown they can speak human language perfectly well Chloe Hartzog Kuro Harutoku Kuro Harutoku voiced by Yuko Goto Japanese Julie Ann Taylor English Ulrika's best friend whom she drags along with her when Ulrika enrolls in Al Revis she has a dark personality and views almost everyone as her guinea pigs to be used in her experiments. She is mostly quiet, calm and collected, though whenever she speaks, her words are either insulting or belittling. She calls the items she makes, omagini, which sort of means, good luck charm, instead of the term, curse. Naroi, which Ulrika refers to them as. In the English version, she refers to them as incantations and seems to be downplayed to the point of being very gloomy. Pepperoncino, Pepperoncino, Pepperoncino. Voiced by Jurota Kosugi, Japanese, Vic Mignogna, English. A self proclaimed fairy. He lives in the forest southeast of the school with his. Sensei, a wood fairy, and does odd jobs around the house. He joined Ulrika when she requested his help due to Tony's insistence that her group should have one male member before venturing into more dangerous areas. Even though he's big and muscular, he actually acts like a child, addressing the rest of the workshop members as Wani San, older sister to Ulrika and Chloe, and Oni San. Older brother to Ina. Seems to have known Goto for a long time. In the English version, he flamboyantly speaks with a slight lisp and calls himself Pepperoni for short, even though his Japanese nickname is Pepperon. He is suspected to be the child of the mana human pair which began the chain of events as he's registered as a mana type when fighting but as stated by him he's neither mana nor human, Enarsia Disla, Enashia Daishura Enashia Daishura Voiced by, Nana Inoue Japanese, Dave Wittenberg English Edward's younger brother, who is always trying to avoid getting involved with his older sister. He is in the same class as Punio and seems to be able to understand her without needing a translation. He was forced to join Ulrika's atelier when he lied about having already joined an atelier when Et tried to recruit him to Roses. Despite his young age, he acts more like an adult than Ulrika. 
According to Ina, Et used to be his name but his sister wanted the name because it sounded nicer and made them switch. It's hinted that Ina has a crush on Punio, as he's especially nice to her. He is also one of the more normal ones as stated by Chloe in Ulrika's Atelier, go to, go to, go to. Voiced by Kenichi Agata, Japanese, Liam O'Brien, English. A mysterious being assuming the form of an animal doll that seems to have been friends with Pepper and Chino for a long time. His real form is that of the round ball the doll holds. Many girls in the school are attracted to him for unknown reasons, which he says is because of his passionate eyes, deep voice, and cute body. Incidentally, Marta, the director of the academy, has a crush on him. He seems immensely fond of Ulrika, often trying to get her attention. His previous form was that of a raccoon and other animals, as said by Pepperoni, and he describes his current form as that of a Pegasus. His actual form is that of a tall red-haired man as seen in his ending. Other characters Oryu, Oryu, Oryu Voiced by, Kaoru Akiyama Japanese, English A mana of soul who finally emerged from the mana egg that Ulrika received from the Dark Mana King, after ten years. It is only capable of saying, You, though it is also able to barely pronounce words which Ulrika tries to teach it, like Ulrika's name, which Oyu says it as, You are why you you re ka, instead of, You ru re ka. It is quite attached to her and tries to protect her if there is any danger. Uryu mostly appears in Ulrika's root, Martuskevasti, Marutashibesuti Maruta Shibasute. Voiced by, Yukari Hishizu Japanese, Mary Elizabeth McGlynn English. A woman who is appointed as the chairman of Al Revis Academy. She is a no-nonsense woman and is the one behind the implementation of the new Art of Battle class. She aims to remove the alchemy subject from the school syllabus because she says that it's a waste of money. Happens to have a crush on Gotu at first sight and continues to see him in his ending, Ririch Wallach, Ruerahi Baraha Ruerahi Baraha. Voiced by, Ikuji Nose Japanese, Dave Wittenberg English. A mysterious man possessing the Ring of Light who gave a similar item to Ray's. Seems to be working for someone and was commissioned to eradicate Manus. He appears more often in Razor's route, though there are brief occasions where he appears in Ulrika's. In the English version, he is called Rika. He is seen as a person who loves to fight and becomes bored with weaker people. Sasarina Shili, Sasarina Shiri, Sasarina Shiri. Voiced by Mai Miyanaga, Japanese, Laura Bailey, English. A mysterious archer woman, she and Rerich are working together. She appears as a very energetic and cheerful girl who often professes her love for Rerich and pesters him to give her a wedding ring. She was sent after Ulrika's mana, Corona, Corona, Corona. Voiced by Natsumi Shibahara, Japanese, English. Yoon's ward and is very good at being sarcastic to others, causing Yoon and Raze a lot of problems when she appears. She is actually the daughter of Yoon's contractor who made Yoon promise to take care of Corona when he dies. Corona is one of the main reason, if not the main reason, Yoon works hard at earning money. She becomes Yoon's contractor in his ending and hires Raze as a bodyguard. Puni Taro. Puni Tailang voiced by Ryui T. Kagehira Japanese, Johnny Yong Bosch English The eldest of the Puni brothers. He is the unofficial leader amongst his brothers and is seen as the strongest Puni. He is often serious and strict with others. He is playable in some of Punio's story, Puni Jiro. 
Puni Erlang voiced by Ryui T. Cage Hira Japanese, Spike Spencer English. The second of the Puni brothers. Most of the time, he is seen carrying Punio on his back and is the one translating her speech. He appears to be the calm and collected type who provides wisdom when the others are troubled. He is playable in some of Punio's story, Puni Saburo. Puni Sanlang voiced by, Ryui T. Cage Hira Japanese, Vic Mignogna English. The youngest of the Puni brothers. In the English version, he is called Kichi instead of Saburo, in reference to the Puni brothers in previous Atelier games. He talks in a lazy slow drawl and is often picked on by others like Lily Ann and Pepperoni in one of his character quests. He is playable in some of Punio's story, Light Mana King. Voiced by, Hide Hero Kikuchi Japanese, Keith Silverstein English. The one who commissions Riker to hunt Mana down, after the child born of a human and a Mana resulted in the Mana's death. He is a hidden boss in the extra scenario. It's also stated he was defeated by Flay once. Dark Mana King Voiced by, Yukihiro Misono Japanese, English The old man who gave the Mana egg to Ulrika, he opposes the Light Mana King, as without being with humans new Mana can't be born, Tetri, Titori Titori Voiced by, Momoko Saitu Japanese, Kirsten Potter English A Mana under the Light Mana's service, she watches over Rika and Uryu. Topic: Returning characters. Zeppel Kriva, Zeppuru Kuraipa, Zeppuru Kuraiba. Voiced by Kazuhiko Inoue, Japanese, Richard Epcar, English. Now the principal of Al Revis Academy, he is still as timid and weak-willed as before. He tries to make the school prosper and retain its former glory but his lack of guts caused him to get pushed around by Marta and even the students. When Marta suggests that the alchemy subject be removed, he seeks out Gunnar, in hopes that he will be able to stop her plans. Gunnar Dam, Gunnaru Damu Gunnaru Damu Voiced by, Kenyu Horiuchi Japanese, Richard Epcar English The teacher of the Art of Battle", class that has just been implemented. He is still trying to take over the world and has a secret organization located somewhere underneath the school. For now, he is teaching alchemy even though he is supposed to teach only battle skills as well as battle skills to his students. He is still fond of appearing and disappearing at will and often thinks up extreme ideas when it comes to a school event or a task for his students to perform. He is Razor's classroom teacher. In North American release of the first Mana Kemia, he is known as Flay Gunner, which translated over to the sequel for consistency purposes, Tony Eisler, Tony Aishura Tony Aishura. Voiced by Mitsuaki Madono, Japanese, Derek Stephen Prince, English. He has been teaching alchemy in Al Revis Academy for quite some time after the school fell to the lower world. He still acts like his former self but has a soft side towards his students. Tony often picks fights with Gunnar due to their school days enmity in Mana Kemia and encourages his students to be better than Gunnar's. He is Ulrika's classroom teacher. A brief conversation with Zeppel during the Academy Festival in Ulrika's route, reveals that he is married and has not gone home in three years. <laughs> <laughs> Soundtrack The soundtrack was composed by Ken Nakagawa and Daisuke Achiwa. It was released May 21, 2008 in Japan by Team Entertainment. Opening song My Silly Days by Marion Sert Songs Shiwongao Gero Fung Hechangban Kabu Sugero Kaze Tilda Gashuban Tilda, The Wind That Reveals Hope Tilda Chorus Version Tilda by Gust Staff 
Naaman loses licked by Yuto Izumi ending song Sail by Mami Yanagi Topic Reception Mana Kimia 2 Fall of Alchemy received mixed reviews It received an aggregated score of 72 44% on Gamer Rankings based on 16 reviews and 71 hundredths on Metacritic based on 12 reviews. <laughs>